Hello and welcome to Thought for the Day for October the 17th. Our readings are 2 Chronicles chapter 8, Ezekiel chapter 43 and John chapters 9 and 10. And our thought is, and shall find pasture. Today John carefully details for us the teaching of Jesus about the shepherd and the sheep. How rewarding it is to meditate on his words. Jesus is both the good shepherd and the door by which the sheep enter. He says, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and go in and out and find pasture. Chapter 10 verse 9. His teaching is simple yet profound at the same time. I know my own and my own know me. Verse 14. How does this happen? Do our minds properly grasp what he next says? Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father, for us to know in this sense is to be aware of the need to develop a relationship that leads to an increasingly intimate understanding of divine thoughts and ways. Meditate on the relationship Jesus had with his Father. Jesus says the sheep follow him because they know his voice. Verse 4. John and others were inspired, and see chapter 14 for instance, to remember and write down what they heard and their writings have been preserved for us. They are the place where we can find pasture today in a world that surrounds us with virulent harmful weeds that corrupt our minds if we give these weeds opportunity to take root and grow. We must make sure we find pasture every day that will nourish our thinking and build up our spiritual wisdom. In finding pasture, let us also find rest. We live in days like Jeremiah who lamented, I am weary and I find no rest. And the Lord says, I am bringing disaster upon all flesh, but I will give you your life. Chapter 45, verses 3 and 5. Three to, and five. We may feel like Jeremiah, if not now, maybe soon. So we need to treasure in our minds the words of our Lord. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart and you will find rest for your souls. Matthew 11, verse 29. Let us make sure we do that today and every day, and find pasture of the very best kind. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of the word wherein is that pasture, and that word is a lamp to our feet and the light to our path. Thank you.